Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? I have just got back from a walk and it is so warm today. I'm so excited because it's going to be even warmer tomorrow. I feel like I'm really pre-acclimatising for Ibiza and I'm really excited about that. I just love warm weather. Hopefully the weather's going to stay warm enough that I can also just wear like quite a summery outfit to the airport and not have to take like a really bulky outfit. Though I do come back at like ridiculous o'clock in the morning so I'm probably going to need like a warm snuggly outfit. Um, anyway, today I am having a real sort my life out day because I only have a few days until I go to Ibiza. I have not packed. Like I literally, you saw me throw the swimwear in my suitcase and I have done zero since then. So I am cutting it fine in terms of fine tuning the wardrobe. I've got therapy soon, so we're doing that. And I really like to always book a therapy session, even if it like really crams my week together and makes it a bit tricky. I really like to book a therapy session before I fly because number one, she does shiatsu massage and I just feel like it makes me really non-tense. I feel a little bit less bloaty when I fly, which is really helpful when I get there. I don't know if that's like in my brain or if that's an actual thing, but it's just how I kind of feel. But also in terms of like my mental stress levels, I just think it's really beneficial for me, especially at this time I am flying alone. So last time was the first time I'd actually flown in my like two years maybe more and this time i'm doing my first flight alone because ryan needs to go out a bit earlier he goes out on father's day i'm not going out on father's day and yeah i'm going on my own which i haven't done in a very long time but i'm actually kind of excited because i used to get really into like just traveling alone and i put my headphones in and just kind of like vibe by myself so i'm i'm kind of looking forward to it i did end up really enjoying that alone time once i kind of got over the initial stress and fear of flying on my own so hopefully we come back to that but that's why I wanted to book this therapy session just so I know I've done all the the good things for myself so yeah I need to pack I need to tidy because the house is just slowly I tidied the other day and it's just undoing itself because I've been busy but yeah mainly packing today is very important so we are going to get started with that let's get to it right I am going to try and do a tiny bit of packing before I leave for my therapy appointment however I'm just <laughs> putting on really procrastinating to the max today i'm putting on just a tiny bit of makeup for no reason other than to pet me up a little bit i always find i'm slightly more productive when i wear makeup and i have no idea why that is but if it works it works so this is what we're running with so i'm putting on some of the bobby brown corrector this is like my favorite product for under my eyes at the moment and like the inner corners this is the skin corrector stick in light peach some days if i'm looking a bit gray here i also like put a little bit under my nose as well i'm leaving my skin bare because when i have my shiatsu massage she actually like touches my face and i always just feel a bit bad if i've got a full face of makeup if that's the situation and i have to go like that then that's just the way it is but if I can avoid it, then I don't. But I will put on a bit of lip liner. This is the key for me to like encourage myself to be makeup free. I do my brows in the morning when I get up and I do a little bit of lip liner and it helps me so much. It also helps that my skin is looking better at the moment than it has in the past couple of years. So that also factors in. But yeah, a little bit of SPF on my skin always makes it look good. Brows, lip liner helps me to just feel a little bit more confident because I'm not particularly confident without makeup on yeah and then i'm just gonna put some mascara on the glossier lash lick is always my favorite but especially if you are doing like no makeup makeup it gives like really natural looking lashes it's a tubing mascara which basically i don't exactly know how it works but what i have heard is that it comes off really easily with water and i can vouch for that just gonna add a teeny weeny little bit of powder as well because i am looking very dewy this morning this is just the fenty powder this is just what i have to hand right now this one's actually really nice okay no makeup makeup done okay so i have just under an hour i need to start roughly plotting out my looks so some of you guys will know some of you won't i have quite a few ibiza trips so i've got a kind of little capsule ready for it but i need to decide what's going on what trip i'm kind of thinking about what hotels we're staying at and what clothes fit the vibe best that was so hard to say i kept saying best who we're going with what we're doing i know ryan has a lot of like things that he wants to go to like clubby things on this trip but there's another trip where we're like going with friends and then there's one where it's like me and ryan and it's like chill so i've got different vibes for different trips and i need to just kind of whittle down so that is what i'm going to do right now so this trip there is worky things but we're also just going to be chilling so we'll see what i come out with i know that i definitely want to take this dress which you all loved so much and I am so obsessed with it. I just think I will wear this so much this summer. I've been trying not to wear it this week because I really wanted my first time wearing it to be whilst I'm in Ibiza and I didn't want to get anything on it. But I 
literally been gravitating towards throwing this on so much this week so the weather's been so nice i think in the uk this will be really nice for like converse and stuff anyway i shouldn't chat this through too much because otherwise we will actually be here all day if i talk through every item so yeah i'm just gonna pull a few key pieces out throw the accessories on the bed as well should make it so you could actually see it because that would probably be helpful and then i'm going with this bag i defo want to take a pair of jeans i'm gonna take these maybe with this top I think I'm gonna take this, these shoes, 100% for this outfit. So I think that should be enough for evening outfits, but I'm gonna pack some spares, so slinky, sparkly dress, um, maybe this one. I might then pack some more casual options and then whistle down. Maybe this, this is a fail safe option if i want to be like cash in the evening i also have my ref dress but this is tbc because i think i might wear this on father's day and i just can't guarantee that i won't spill my sunday dinner down it so that one's staying on the row for now but i'll throw it in if it's if it's okay i actually have the zara school which would be really nice for the body so i'm gonna throw that in as an option we have my heels for the trip i'm gonna take these just a nice affordable pair from zara that i don't mind going to a club in them these go really well with pretty much all of these dresses except the gray sparkly and the pink so maybe i save these two for a different trip i always try and make it so i don't have to take too many pairs of shoes because they are obviously the heaviest and the weight restrictions right now on flights they're getting less and less but also in terms of like space saving it's good to do as well so yeah i feel like those two shoes will be good and then maybe like a pair of trainers or maybe like a neutral pair of shoes this is definitely a good option for like casual evenings simple body and score i'm obsessed with that score if you didn't see it in my last video it's so good i feel like i'm just shy of having a slight crisis already i just feel like i need more time i need more time to think about this maybe setting myself an hour was not the best idea this is the easy bit as well because the daytime looks are harder there's more pieces evening looks are like bag dress shoe done so we do my favorite thing which is take photos of everything so that I know what the looks are. This would also look really good with the little green bag as well, to be fair. We've got some repeats from Greece here, actually. You've seen a lot of these before. So we've got this little black set. We've got black flowy trousers. And then we've got black, like the MC Hammer pants. I can't remember what they're called, like harem trousers. Which actually I really enjoyed wearing when I was in Greece. So those are all winners. I then also have, and this might be crazy, but I've also got these linen trousers, which I need to try on. And then if I like them, I'll need to take them up. But I think these could be really nice just with like, a bikini this actually fits so nicely let me try it on with a bikini top what do we think i don't know if they're a bit too smart i think they might be better like obviously keep them because they're really nice but i think they might be better for the uk now i feel like this is like a uk summer kind of look maybe i'll watch this back and change my mind do you know what trousers i might take though are these linen ones from zara they're actually a really nice like daytime summer option daytime i struggle the most with like not pool looks they're easy shirt and bikini shirt and bikini on rotation love it a pair of shorts happy days going out during the day when it's sweltering that's what i struggle with this pair of white shorts that i have are a blessing those with a body those with a bikini just any kind of plain tops love them also have this top from zara that might look quite nice with them for the evening i might throw that in there as like a insurance item sometimes i just throw extra items in just in case i have like a wardrobe crisis this look however i think 
think it's kind of nice. Not, I don't think this is for daytime, but just wanted to try it on and see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's just a bit few too many like lines going on. I don't know if it's a bit busy. But I think these trousers will be great. Even with just like a bikini, it could be really nice. Linen shirt like thrown over and open. So I'm gonna pack these. By the way, sorry, there's a fly in here and slowly driving me up the wall. Mm. No, I don't like it. I'm not sure. I just think these trousers are too structured, too formal. Whereas like these trousers, you will have seen me try this combo on before, but these are really floaty, really nice. I'm just gonna have to take those up and like wear them religiously alongside these white shorts okay i need to get ready to go to therapy however i have realized that with the shorts the white shorts the black short and top set my black trousers and my white trouser white shirt set that's for kind of like daytime looks as long as i can get those trousers taken up and then my purple dress is like a day to night dress because of ryan's show it's like a pool party kind of vibe you know so that dress is perfect but works really well going into the night as well so actually i'm good and then i just want to throw in some like insurance pieces and then move on to my like pool vibe pieces i think we're okay i'm just gonna keep it simple lots of black and whites for the day and clearly a lot of like color and slightly more bougie vibes in the evening and then if i stick to black and white all of my bags go as well and i can add pops of color there so that's all good so i'm gonna go to therapy we're gonna have a short intermission and i'll be back with you shortly oh my god my seat is hotter than the sun let's burn your bare legs on your leather car seat season and it's probably the only thing I don't like about summer that and if you have a leather sofa the fact that you like stick to it when you get up I have that with my parents all the time Doom. okay brief therapy intermission over I'm back in the bedroom I am going to pack these bits because I feel confident in them apart from those trousers those I'm keeping out because I'm not forgetting to take them up again I'm also going to take this little black bralette that I had on with those linen trousers because I think that will work really nicely as like a item that goes with all of this stuff it's just good to have pieces like that thrown in your suitcase so if you want to like switch up an outfit and not feel like you're wearing the same thing every day but wear the same thing every day to beach wear, hot day wear, very casual wear. This section of the video does include a paper integrated partnership with Amazon Fashion. They asked me if I would like to pick out some bits and there were a few gaps I had for pieces that I've been searching for for this holiday. I know a lot of people don't gravitate towards Amazon for clothing items, but they actually have a really good selection. They have lots of very well-known brands on there as well. I am so thankful because I managed to get hold of a white bikini which I've been searching for everywhere and I could not find in my size. So I'm praying, I'm praying this fit. I also picked up a couple of pairs of shorts because I've been really wanting like a proper longer pair of shorts. Oh! I think they're gonna be perfect length. I really wanted like a long pair of, sh not long, but like longer pair of shorts. Lots of my shorts are so short. And I wanted them in like a darker kind of blue tone, like a real true like denim blue and I, I really hope these are gonna look good. They're actually like roll up. I think they're called the roll up shorts. Let me see. Yeah, the 501 rolled shorts. The 501s are like one of my favorite kind of not too tight, like a little bit slouchy styles. Trying these fit, I got a waist 26. I tried on a waist 28 in jeans recently and it was way too big. So I'm hoping 26 will be okay. I was gonna be really safe and go for the 27, but it wasn't in stock, so. Fingers crossed. You can roll them up so they look like a traditional nice like rolled up pair of shorts, but you can also unroll them so they sit longer. And that was exactly what I wanted. So I'm excited to try those on. I've also got the same but a little bit shorter and they're like a raw hem. I think they're gonna be really cute with like a white top as well. Just like really relaxed, really nice, really great for throwing on with bikinis. I also needed new white and black tees because my old ones i don't have enough for some reason and they're all getting really warm because i just love wearing like plain black tees and white tees with stuff so picked up actually doubled up on everything so i'm gonna try those on and then i also picked up these beach cover-ups this is such ibiza vibes this one opens this one doesn't but i thought these were so cute and so nice for pairing with like a matching kind of bikini underneath so I'm really excited to try those on. And then as for 
the swimwear. This is kind of like an off white bikini. This one is bralette style and it ties up at the back so you don't have to worry about the back being like not right, which I love. I hope the cup is gonna fit okay. I ordered two white bikinis just in case. The bottoms look like they're gonna be a great size and I really like this style of bottom. So we'll see how we got on with those. And then I also have, I was just struggling to find a triangle white bikini top anywhere. The cup size on these looks really like good, really generous. So fingers crossed for that. And then these are the bottoms to go with. Little tassels, little tortoiseshell accent as well. So got those, really excited to try those on. And then I also picked up some sunnies because they actually do a lot of luxury sunglasses. And they had a pair which I've been wanting to get my hands on for so long. These are so cute, they're from YSL. They're like a cat eye that's like, got a cut off on the side and then the arms are just really cute love that just real statement vibes so i'm just gonna take my sunglasses off my head Hang on. i just love them i do have a pair in black that are a little bit like this but i love the tortoiseshell vibes it's gonna be so nice especially with a lot of those day looks they're just really really simple and this is gonna add like a real chic element to that look absolutely love it so yeah let's try these looks on okay so this is what bikini one looks like on i'm happy with this like it's so simple you can't really go wrong with a triangle bikini i really like triangle bikinis i just think they give me a little bit more like lift than like a bandeau i think they're like my ultimate number one style that and then like balcony style swimwear kind of tops the bottoms don't go up as high as i would like i would have loved for these to have been a tie situation on the bottom as well but overall very happy i really want to see what this looks like with this cover up over the top and of course obviously i've gone for the new sunnies just to really complete the look this is how i make packing bearable as i get really dressed up as if i'm actually in the country i'm going to i think this would be nicer maybe with the other style of bikini top underneath but overall really sweet really easy to throw on like if you're going if you're at a beach club or whatever and then you're just going to like go to a table and sit and have lunch or even just to pop to like the loose or whatever this is just like a really nice easy piece to throw on over the top it's giving me like real like deeper vibes and this is the other white bikini top and bottoms i'm not sure which one i prefer what do you think I need to see it with the beach cover-up over the top. Hmm. I can't decide which one I prefer under the cover-up. I'm gonna have to watch this footage back and <laughs> make a decision. Okay, and then we have the black cover-up, which has a little clasp, if I can get it. So it clips up instead. Out of the two, if I had to pick one, this one is obviously so much easier to get into because you don't have to lift it over your head. I'm just wearing a bikini that I already own, my black triangle one. What do we think? White or black? Okay. Then we have the shorts. These are the ones that you can roll up. Oh god, it's five button. Please hold, I'll be here a while. I always forget this about Levi's. But I love Levi's shorts. I have a really, really old vintage pair that I think I bought when I was like 19. And they fit still, which is a blessing. I didn't I didn't think they would. Got them at the loft, but they are so short. So, so short. And I feel like I could get away with that when I was that age, but I'm just not sure I actually want to wear something that short now that they literally cut across my bum. Whereas these, these are such like dad short vibes. I feel like with like a bucket hat, they're just really nice, really easy. Great for like wearing with a bikini. I also have my white and black t-shirts, which will work really nicely with them. If I just don't really want to think about my outfit, I always like to have a few options like that. When I'm away, just in case I have a day where I'm feeling a bit self-conscious and I just don't want to wear an outfit, you know? Real dad vibes. But I like it. I think with a bucket hat, it's just cute and really casual. Obviously, as long as it's not too hot. The long sleeve tees might be a bit much if I'm roasting. However, I love these tees. These are from, I think, a brand called Selected Femme. And I just knew looking at them, I was like, yeah, these are going to be my vibe they've got like long sleeves quite like a high round neck and then they're quite long as well and i just knew looking at them i was like i'll get those in a medium and i just reckon they're gonna be like a perfect white t-shirt to have in my wardrobe just like an easy boxy kind of like slouchy white tee and they're great yeah perfect these also work really nicely like just with like joggers when you're like home or you can really dress them up you can wear them with like a midi skirt and kind of like twist them and tuck them and they're just obviously so basic that they're so versatile and I love that. I just love the long sleeves on them. It's ideal, perfect 
so flattering. Defo taking these, love them. And then we have the raw hem 501 shorts, they're a bit shorter. They're still really nice, these are very similar to my vintage ones that I have, but a darker colour. I actually think my vintage ones weren't even a pair of shorts, I think they were like a really old pair of Levi's that someone had cut into shorts. I got them from a vintage shop when I was like 19 and they're one of my favourite things I own. These are really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both. I really like them. They just fit really well. This pair, I would say, has a bit more room, but in my experience, Levi's stretch out really, really nicely. Love these. Very happy with them. I think these are gonna work really nicely with like bikinis as well, like, especially like my crop, my crop one, my crochet one will look really good with like the raw hem on this. It's very like relaxed, casual. I think I'm gonna take these t-shirts too, because you can kind of like twist and tuck them and kind of make them a bit more cropped. Okay, I am. Um back in regular clothing. All of these pieces are great. I've got some decisions to make because I really need to whittle, especially this swimwear section down. There's a lot going on here. We yeah, love these pieces. They're so good. Ordering from Amazon, obviously, is so easy. Honestly, I could have spent hours picking out things from there because there is so, honestly, so much. But yeah, those are my picks just because I had a list. I always like to keep a list of like things that I feel like I'm missing from my wardrobe and shorts, tees, white bikini, beach cover-ups, all items that were missing, and there were so many on there, so that's made my life so much easier, so thank you very much, Daniel. Now I've got some really tough decisions to make, so I need to decide in terms of like the swimwear, what is coming with me on this particular trip, because we've obviously got two more as well, so I kind of want to spread it all out, have some pieces that I'm really looking forward to wearing, I'll obviously repeat wear a lot of pieces, but I don't need to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bikinis with me, because that's too much. So I'm gonna whistle it down. I kind of want a mix of like some really fun bits, but also some more neutral bits. The hotel we're staying at is very like cool and colorful. So definitely want to go down that route. Some of the neutrals I feel like would be best saved for the next trip. The next trip, the hotel is very fun. I'm really looking forward to, well, they're all really fun hotels, but the one after this is like somewhere that I've wanted to stay for so long. I'm so excited. The only thing I would say is this one is less of a swim bikini and more of a like wear with an outfit bikini, like that white shirt, white trouser set. So I feel like this one is a bit of a no-brainer. However, the black one I will always take with me on every trip and that one does go with that. Packing for holidays, vacations, trips, whatever you want to call it, always like it's very creative. Like putting outfits together is a very creative process for me, but it gets my brain whirring so fast that it becomes a bit chaotic to watch on camera so i'm so sorry to those of you that had to watch this but some of you also said you enjoyed it so okay orange i'm gonna leave that can come on the last trip blue i feel like would work very well on the next trip but i'm really excited to wear it can't forget to pack these either mm -hmm. Okay, so I still need to take up my trousers and pop them in here, but I'm actually really happy with how everything's kind of fitting in. Also, yes, did you see me adjusting everything in my suitcase so that it looks cute to look at? So much of like the black stuff has gone to the bottom. And then over here, I need to dust bag everything up because obviously I want to make sure my shoes and bags are all kept all nice and neat and it kind of protects them a bit. But this is kind of what I am looking at for shoes and bags. We've got my sliders, my heels, small sliders, <laughs> pair of trainers, which I might wear to fly in just so I can, because then I'll have a bit more space for like makeup and skincare and stuff and uh, like shampoos and everything. But yeah, some of it could even move over here because I've not even utilized all the space to the best of its ability yet. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking of working with. I don't know if these are going to fit in. So they're just kind of still TBC, but that is how it's looking. And then obviously going to need space for sunglasses because I am just obsessed with sunglasses. So I will be taking at least three pairs on every holiday on repeat till the day that I am no longer on this earth. So I think I'm pretty much done. The only things that I need to add are the trousers. As I have said, I am a broken record. Underwear and then my makeup and skincare, which I will do closer to the time because obviously I use it like every day at the moment. I'll pack it when I get ready for the day on Sunday because then everything that I will have used will go straight into my suitcase because I won't need it on the Monday that I'm flying because I am flying at silly o'clock in the morning. So that is the best way to do it is like once you've done your final getting ready, full getting ready, you pack everything that you've just used so you know you have 
everything. Skincare, I will I think do the Sunday night and then I'll just have to work out of my suitcase on the Monday morning at like 5am. But yeah, I'll be back with you to pack my hand luggage. I'm not doing it yet because the bag that I'm going to be taking is the one that I basically use every day. I'm sure you'll know which one it is. It's my favourite bag to use and it's really great for flying with. But yeah, I'll be back with you then to finish off and do hand luggage. everybody the bedroom is a mess because i am mid packing but i have finished i think i think i've finished my hand luggage so i thought i would take you through that quickly i'll take you through my suitcase and everything later once all the beauty stuff is in it i still need to do skincare after i do my routine tonight and wash my hair put all my hair stuff in there but yeah i thought i'd take you through my hand luggage quickly just while i've got a couple of seconds because then i need to run out it is father's day so i need to go and be good daughter and all of that stuff so this is the bag I'm taking for hand luggage. I'm kind of risking it, like it squishes down. So even though the size of it is actually huge, if you used it to its full potential, it doesn't take up those exact requirements. So it's generally, I've found so far, okay to fly with. I will update you on how this goes though. It's like basically if it was full width, it would be 10 centimeters bigger than I'm allowed, but I'm obviously not packing it like that. So we'll be fine. So in here I have an outfit that I actually need to wear monday afternoon and just in case luggage gets lost i'm fyi i'm flying monday morning in case luggage gets lost or anything like that i actually i'm gonna have the outfit with me i've then just got bikini and a little like set of beach trousers in here again just in case i am a little bit of a warrior like that the last holiday i actually didn't do an outfit i just threw a bikini in because it was a proper holiday but this is like we actually have places to be on the day that I land. So the outfit that I need is coming with me. It's very small, so it's actually fine. I'm gonna be wearing the shoes that I wear with this. And then we've got the bag. I am actually out of two bags, so I can take this out if I need more space. I then have a little pouch, which is a rare beauty pouch. It's just like a clear one. It has like essentials just in case, you know, the vibe, a little travel plug some jewellery, these are some playing cards in case we get delayed, that's more for the way back because Ryan's already out in Ibiza. There's meant to be paracetamol in here but I think Ryan pinched my paracetamol the other- oh it's on the bedside table, okay. Anyway, yeah, airpods, there will be paracetamol in there, so all of the like emergency essentials. We then have my little Aspinall travel case which has my initials on it and it's got like different sections, as you can see my passport is in there, I've also got my money in the currency section and I'm actually going to pop that in this zip side compartment, I've just realised I need to do that because I just this bag doesn't have a zip across it so I basically put anything that I really wouldn't want to lose like keys money all of that in this zipped compartment I've got my mini mic for my tiktok videos because my audio on my phone is actually terrible sunglasses have a book which is the girls by Lisa Jewell it's very good I love all of her books and I've got another one of her books I think it's a newer one in the suitcase so in case I finish this because I've been reading it for a while and I reckon I can annihilate that on the plane to be honest when left to my own devices I can speed through a book banana chips always oh flight socks in the other compartment which if I actually wear this I'll probably put the flight socks in there along with my airpods just the two things that I actually need to faff around with on like takeoff and landing but yeah that is it and I've got like my keys and stuff but I'm obviously using those this afternoon so all of my daily essentials are in my bag but they will go in this zipped compartment when I fly and then I've got a couple of other TBC bits I don't really want to take liquids if I don't have to but sometimes I just like to have a few bits so i might pack a perfume in my hand luggage i'm not sure depends on how heavy my suitcase ends up feeling and then i've also got my laptop which i'm kind of tbc on whether i want to take that in my hand luggage or not but anyway that is the general gist of what is in my hand luggage bag so i'll be back with you in a little bit to show you my suitcase and everything not gonna lie i'm a little bit stressed today i have real anxiety about this flight don't know why but it's fine it will be fine anyway gotta go Love you, bye. Okay, so it's just gone about half nine. I have pretty much everything in my suitcase bar, the things that I need to pop in it tomorrow morning, like my morning skincare. So I've got three pouches, one for body, hair stuff, one for makeup, and then another for skincare. So just coming in here from the future, but I realized I didn't show you what I keep in my toiletries bag. From the top, we have deodorant. This is the Mitchum one. I just really like the smell of it and it seems to make me not as sweaty. Toothpaste 
pearl drops toothpaste i really like this one i love the pink one but now that i have a retainer that i wear a lot at night i get a bit worried about the pink part of it staining so i generally tend to use this one more at night and when i travel and just the pink one once every so often during the day when my retainer isn't in. Then we have my SPF 50. This is the ultraviolet one. I really like this one. I actually had two in here. However, we used one up when we were in Ibiza. So that is the second one. And we've already cracked on with that. I've got my Kate Somerville SPF 50 setting spray for makeup, which I put on throughout the day to top up. I took my conditioner. This is the Kerastase. It's the Chrome Absolute conditioner. I really like this one. The only issue was I actually forgot to pack shampoo. So... I just didn't wash my hair whilst I was there. Fortunately, we weren't there for very long, so <laughs> worked out in my favour. I then have my Kerastase hair oil. This one doesn't have much left in it, and I packed this one for this reason because it obviously is going to weigh slightly less, so I packed this one, and then I have a full one that is next to my mirror in the bedroom. And then I have a little GHD... I can't get this back on. There we go. A little GHD bodyguard heat protectant spray in a mini. doesn't look that mini. The lid is huge. <laughs> Kind of defeats the point of it being a mini, but I always take that with me for when I wash my hair, which I obviously did not do, so it was not very necessary. But that is what was in my toiletries bag. I realised I just kind of like glossed over my toiletries bag. I was so tired. I was like, get me on this plane. And then I also have a little pocket on the front of this bag here. And normally, I don't know if you can see, there's some jewellery in there. I always keep my chunky jewellery in the front bit of this because my little jewellery pouch doesn't always fit the stuff, so... Any chunky necklaces, any big chunky earrings. What have we got in here? I think it's an anklet. Yeah, anything like this always goes in the front of here and I always know it's there. And then I've also got Ryan's skincare pouch as well because he left it. And it's very lucky that I am coming out. I think he left it for me on purpose. But it's kind of a good thing because I also realised that he was missing cleanser from the bag. Everything else, no cleanser. And if he thinks he's stealing mine, he's got another thing coming. So we have a pouch in there for him as well. I'm just gonna take my air wrap with the bristle brush attachment. And then I've got this, which is like the curling attachment, which most people use for like blow dried ends. But what I'm actually gonna try and do is recreate the curls that I usually do, which are these with my GHD wand. I'm pretty sure I can just wrap my hair around this barrel in the same way I would around a curler and it's gonna work. TBC, I'm gonna give it a go. And I've just thrown in a little workout outfit, very last minute because Ryan sent me a photo of a Pilates studio, which is very near where we're staying. And I thought, just on the off chance that I feel like doing that, it's going in there. We also have my little potential airport outfit on the door for tomorrow. But if I'm honest, I'm not sure it's gonna be the one. Leaving it till the last dying second to decide what I'm wearing at 5 a.m. in the morning, which is a really bad idea. So I'm gonna ponder that whilst I watch Love Island and I'm gonna love you and leave you here because I literally really need to go and have a long, hard think about this airport outfit before I lose my marbles. But yeah, that is me packed for Ibiza. I hope you enjoyed this mammoth pack with me. It feels like I've been filming it forever. I can't believe I'm still not done. I'm never going away on Father's Day ever again. I cannot do everything in one day. I also did all my beauty prep today. So my hair is freshly washed. I am tanned. I am freshly moisturized. My mustache has been bleached. Everything, everything has been done. Everything. I've even like curled my hair ready for tomorrow morning. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in Ibiza. Love you, bye.